Is this angle fine? I'm gonna assume this is fine. Hi guys. I hope everyone is having an amazing day, morning or evening. Whenever you decide to watch this. Enjoy a few clips of when I went to my Cos 110 perusal. Okay, I'll be back. Good morning, everyone. I kind of... How do I explain this? So today is technically the last day that I am needed on campus. We're going to like check out like our marks for the exams. Like I know I passed, but like I just want to see like exactly what I got for the exam and where I went wrong. That's the tea there. But today is for Cos 110, C++. We only get half an hour to see our exam. I literally told myself I wasn't gonna be late and I'm a bit late, but it's fine. Looking at an exam usually takes like five minutes. It's not that deep. I know I said this, the previous video, I said that that was the last time that like there's a campus vlog but i guess technically this isn't really a campus vlog i'm just i'm just going to see my test but most of it i'm gonna be sitting down and chatting with you guys can't wait to get into that have to go all the way to the cost tutorium <laughs> <laughs> okay so update just came from there now we weren't allowed to like take any pics or whatever inside overall I actually didn't do bad at all i think it was pretty good i think it was pretty good for me at least so yeah that's a tea day this lighting is amazing see you tomorrow so we also got t-shirts for operating systems but yeah the t-shirt has like a snippet of Hold on, can you see? Oh no, but it's backwards. I'll take a proper video later. The shirt looks like this. How cool, right? The fork function is like a very specific function that we learned in operating systems. Something about threads and child processes and all that stuff. Guys, can I actually tell you? I actually forgot to go to the second perusal, the one for operating systems. I wanted to shoot myself in the foot because I was busy spending time with my friends like for the last time before the holidays and we slept till late. I'm gonna calculate exactly what I got for the exam, but it just sucks that I'm not gonna actually know like where I went wrong and stuff, but it's fine. We move, I guess. So anyway, we're gonna have a little chat. But a very nice informative chat so like this video i'm gonna mainly some tips for computer science modules i'm gonna say modules specifically because i don't do computer science but the modules because it's been quite a rocky road for me not so much this year i know a lot of people struggle with cos modules and stuff so here's me giving you some motivation if maybe like you want to go into computer science stuff or like you feel like you're about to give up this is me telling you you can do it because i could do it and i didn't think i could do it like i'm mainly only talking about like the first year modules i'm done with my second year of multimedia so i'm going into third year but i'm gonna do second year computer science modules like the whole year wait let me first make sure that i actually passed all my modules before i just get into this video i've been like postponing when to look at the up portal <laughs> Okay, I saw my marks for like the COS modules, but for art, I haven't seen... Okay, we sort it. No subs this year. I mean, no subs this semester. I wrote one sub in first semester for a multimedia module. But that's good news. I passed everything. <laughs> haven't been able to say that since matric so i have some notes here for that i forget what to say so first things first i get asked this question so many times as if it's not the main traction of my youtube channel but basically guys i'm studying bis multimedia at the university of pretoria i'm in my second year so where do i want to start my journey with this whole computer science vibe and stuff i had no previous knowledge of it i literally in high school i took bio french and physics or well, physical science so like physics and chem in one not separate we didn't even have it at our school we had cat but like no one took cat in my grade so it was just not a subject for us when i pitched to multimedia was kind of excited because you see the thing is that ne, i thought that the computer science ne, as long as you know your maths you are good to go now 
not the same thing i thought it was like math when like you know like some formulas and then you'll be fine no computer science is literally just a whole bunch of problem solving and you need to be creative in that specific language that we're learning at that point so first semester multimedia I learned HTML and CSS and a very tiny bit of JavaScript, like like this much. And then I also started learning C++ for the first time. And let me tell you, first semester of multimedia, it made me feel like I was the GOAT. I was doing even the C++ that we learned, it was, I was, I can't even lie. That C++ that we learned was so, I want to say easy, but like for a first, it was very good for like a first timer in programming. Like our first practical was like literally just outputting hello world to the screen. It was vibes. Honestly, I miss Cos 132. I, I can't lie. But that was last year's 132. I hear this year's Cos 132 was like on a whole nother level, pretty much at the same standard as Cos 110 or the C++ that I was doing this second semester. I want to say like that's pretty good though because hey you wanna I'm busy thinking already yeah I did well in course 132 I'll be fine in course 110 and no 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 that module did not prepare me at all for what was to come last year like I don't know if you guys saw in my if you guys have watched or if you haven't you can go watch it I made a Q&A last year like October ish and let me tell you my mental health was it was it was under the rubble it was under the earth and it was 70 percent because i just couldn't understand c plus plus like at all but now like i actually do love it a lot i can't even lie now i'm just talking about like my experience with cos modules in first year last year second semester i was like i did nine modules and probably eight out of the nine modules were super demanding like we had like maybe five things due every single week and it wasn't like tiny little things due every week so now having to divide my attention like i didn't think that like the c plus plus would really need so much attention and it's kind of that module where like if you miss out on like the first few assignments or like the first few topics like you don't fully understand it you're most definitely not going to understand the rest how am i not rambling too much yeah so besides life being life last year i didn't realize also that pos 110 needs you not necessarily it needs your mental health to be good but it needs all the focus in the world just so you can fully understand it especially if like you don't have any previous knowledge with it and stuff yeah it requires some other level of thinking hey and it's crazy to me because this is the easiest module out of like the rest of the computer science modules in the following years but like after having done a chain like as the prax went i definitely got really used to like coding almost every day kind of vibes like with mental health like people like to ask like what i do when my mental health is like under the floor what really helped me last year was that like i would literally my best friend like ev almost every single time that I had a mental breakdown about school and life. I was probably breaking down like multiple times in a week, every single week for the whole semester last year, like, yeah. Then I would immediately call. So that's how I get through it. Otherwise doing things like solo dates and stuff really helped me. I w at that point last year, I wasn't really into like journaling and stuff, but then this year it really helped just mostly like making friends to talk about stuff too but maybe like if you struggle to like make friends or like a close friend that you can like actually talk to like perhaps definitely look into like therapy the psychologist there's like student counseling at universities and stuff that also really helps i'm sure I would also like read like in the mornings, early in the mornings, I would like go to the bench outside and like enjoy the morning sun while reading a book really helped like almost every day. And having a routine, a to-do list and all that. But let me get into that now. My marks last year were so bad. I'm mainly just talking about cause 110. I'll get into cause 122 
no, no, operating systems, I mean. My marks for like the rest of my modules were surprisingly really good. Still surprised about it. I was on 10 last year. Yeah, it was so bad that like I just made the exam enter. Just. It was bad to the point where I needed 100% in the final exam to actually pass the module. Or let me put it this way, um, I didn't even make it to the sub. <laughs> I think it really took a toll on my mental health because like I was so used to like doing well in school do you get me I can say from like overall what I've seen a lot of people who drop multimedia to like something outside of IT are mostly people who found the computer science aspect to be hard but then like the artsy side and stuff although it's like a lot of work it's still like a lot of fun and it's like not too hard to understand like we're learning photoshop and adobe illustrator and all of that it just requires you to be like really creative that's the only thing that could like make someone hate the art side of multimedia but otherwise it's really fun but that computer science aspect mm -mm 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 -mm. and the thing is it's like you want to ask for help but then it was since it was online school as well which is the worst i much rather prefer in-person help but like the online help would be like you see discord and then like you make a ticket and like you ask for help or whatever but obviously there's a lot of kids asking for help number one number two because i had such demanding modules i would always start the pracs the weekly pracs like maybe later on in the week like maybe wednesday evening kind of vibe and because 110 wants you to start the work the day it is given and also whenever i wanted to ask for help i had no idea where to start i didn't even know what to ask because i didn't understand anything <laughs> at some point i was like this close to like just dropping multimedia i i can't even lie because i was thinking if the first year module is this difficult like what about the rest what about the ones to come but then somehow i got through it i don't know how i got the motivation to keep going but i got it so some things that i wanted to change this year number one asking for help see the problem with asking for help online is that you don't always get help on time because there's so many people asking for help but then like now that it was in person like i told myself that every single prac session i'm gonna be there every week asking for help as soon as i don't understand even if it's like i haven't even started the assignment or the prac i get there to the prac session and start the practical there so then like i can ask for help as i go along as i'm reading the spec or whatever number two this one like came more spontaneously but like i made friends in my class that are also really determined to like do their best and pass like really determined to pass that's a big thing because let me tell you last year i'm sure after like halfway through the semester i was like you know what it's whatever it's whatever and then i just gave up so somehow thank the lord i met people who are so cool and really helped me through this module that's for sure it was like if i can't ask like the tutors for help then i could easily just ask my friends but even like the tutors this year like really 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 helped because it was like even if you like sent a message on discord like late in the evening asking for help you stuck on a prank whatever they would like actually answer and give tips and stuff and i'm like bro like this after hours you're a lifesaver besides my own mind being determined to actually pass it this year like it's definitely my surroundings that also help and the lectures and stuff in-person classes helped so much i didn't skip classes for my hala it was that thing of like if you skip class well where's the content i mean they gave us like slideshows and stuff but then like the actual verbal like teaching i needed that during the holidays during the july holidays like before second semester i told myself that i'm gonna recap c plus plus maybe like just enough for me to like actually be prepared this time because it's object oriented programming so it's not like just plain jane programming it's more like you're making classes and if you look it up you know like <laughs> you'll kill what i mean yeah i did some recap 
like from YouTube boot camps and stuff. But also, thank goodness, like it wasn't like I just skipped out on programming for six months because in the first semester this year, we had that multimedia module with the JavaScript and the XML and all of those markup languages and stuff. So then it was like, okay, at least I have done some programming this year. I'm not completely in the dark. Okay, guys, I need to go. I'm going out with my cousins. I'll see you guys later. Oh, check. I did my nails like last week. Can you, can you see it properly? Well, obviously now it's getting a little bit old, but... Yeah! And I decided to go like a bit longer than I usually go because I was like, no, you know what? I want to slay. So I got my long nail. And that's all weird. And then I just did bunch of knots because I'm flattered. Blonde is gone. But I think I'm gonna do blonde again next year, like beginning of the year, but we'll see when we get there. And then that's my outfit of the day. I'm just wearing my corduroys. And then this. And this is actually a way sleeve. But then I decided to make it a necklace today. Um, yeah, vibes. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Guys, I'm back. Ah, oh, let me tell you guys, it was the first time today that I drove not really by myself but like with my family without my parents in the car so i'm quite proud of myself i really hope this video idea is like actually good because to be honest i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of like talk videos that i make i feel like i ramble too much but like hopefully you guys find it informative and interesting um what happened was that out of all the practicals we had i feel like the first practical we had was one of the most difficult if i'm being honest i mean i got my mark but it was like with extensive help like it wasn't like i was able to like do everything and then like i just had tiny little problems like i couldn't find where the memory was leaking and stuff it was like i need to sit down with someone for them to actually properly explain what the heck is going on so afterwards i really felt her yo what if this module starts to go like this again? But thank goodness it didn't do that. In fact, it just, it kept going like this. Well, except for the assignments. As much as I keep saying this year was nice with C++, the assignments that we had were not that bad. But like my time management is... The first two assignments, I, <laughs> I didn't get any marks. Second assignment, I got maybe a few months and then i ran out of submissions because yeah something was wrong and i couldn't find it and it was already the deadline but nonetheless they were all very interesting so that's why i'm saying like only now i'm starting to like really like c plus plus like i actually like sitting down and like figuring out where the problem is and that was one thing that i was quite scared about when i came from high school because i knew that I, all the like programming is like such a problem solving aspect of the logical thinking and the problem solving is so unique it's not like there's one solution to your problem no 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 it's more like some people can't even find a solution other people find their own way of a solution different to your kind like it's it how i like to explain programming is that it's basically creative writing but in computer language well in a language that the computer understands yeah anyway what else did what else did i write here i just i wrote a whole bunch of stuff oh yeah also what helped was that i was coding quite literally almost every single day and it was it was, I want to say it was practice, but it was literally like the practicals that they gave us, the assignments that they gave us. So like, literally there was almost no day where I was just chilling. That's one thing about computer science modules or computer science in general. There's never a rest day. Like there'll be one rest day and then you have to get back into it somehow. Even if you're just practicing random stuff. Another thing I told myself to change was that I would start the practice the day that they come out. Oh! study buddies yes um study buddies are so so helpful the study group that i had it was like the the friends that i made in class some of the friends that i made and like we even like study well in advance like maybe more than a week before so like we'd always ask each other for help if we don't understand something and past papers they will help you 
And it's crazy because in university, they don't provide you with past papers. It's not like in high school where like you would find past papers at literally every exit. You can even find textbooks just full of past papers. I forgot what the textbook name was. Yeah, there was one for math. I don't remember for the other subjects. And then like in uni, bro, you have to somehow find your way to those past papers. Oh, onto operating system. So I'm done with the class 110. Now we're on cause one, two, two. Operating systems, it also definitely started out as a hate relationship. Not love, hate, hate. <laughs> I absolutely hate theory so much. I don't know how I took life sciences in high school, but I did. I didn't pass operating systems last year because it's not a hard module if we're being completely honest. Well, at least from my experience, I know it's not a hard module. It's more like a, you just need to know what's going on. And last year when I had nine modules to look at, they were all demand. I did not prioritize operating system as much as I should have. Like I would skip lectures and stuff since it was online. It was like, listen to the lecture video today, guys. And it's like, I don't want to. And then it definitely put me in the bum. Somehow I made it to the SUP. But I still, like, at that point, I was so fed up with the year. I just, I couldn't even bring myself to, like, study properly and in advance. But low-key, I'm kind of glad that I retook it because it definitely forced me to, like, actually properly understand, like, what's happening with operating systems. This year, operating systems was, like, closed book, especially. So now it's, like, you don't have a choice. But to know exactly what is going on. Otherwise, you will fail. The first semester test we had. I don't know if you guys remember the video. I'm, I'm sure there was a video somewhere where I, the first semester test went so bad. The pass rate for over 200 kids taking the module this year. The pass rate was quite literally like 20% somewhere around there. But after that, now nah, we literally, I told myself I need to like well in advance after every lecture or almost every lecture i have to like read through the textbook fully understand what the heck is going on and then after that it just kept going like this studying helps guys <laughs> obviously trying different methods of studying really helps oh again i had a study group for this module as well um which was so helpful i did not think it was that helpful like i've always just been someone who's i will study by myself and i'm fine i don't need to study with the whole group but yeah it actually top notch and again past papers really helped and redoing past assignments and all of that stuff but also like i really grew to love it because one two two surprisingly because last year i just i just hated how much theory it was and then like when i made sure to attend like pretty much i think maybe i missed like only one lecture this whole semester the content is actually quite interesting once you actually understand what's happening so yeah and the lectures and professors made the module super interesting. Shame. I can't even lie. Do I say I passed them well? Okay, if we want to say that a 60 in university is like really good. So like above that was like my computer science modules. And I'm so proud of myself. Oh, you guys, you guys don't understand. Since we've already gotten all deep and personal, might as well just expose myself further. Guys, literally my marks this year for COS modules were double what I got for them last year, as in times two. They yeah, definitely prepared me for future COS modules. Because now, like, for one of the second year COS modules, we're learning Java. But, like, just, like, the, the sorting algorithms and the data structures, it's not, like, Java from scratch. Someone said that... The Java we learned is like COS 110 on steroids. That's why even right now, like I've just been preparing for it. I'm attempting like past practicals, past assignments, possibly like redoing my practicals, my C++ practicals, but in Java once I actually really know what is going on. And also W3 schools really, really helps. Whatever programming language you feel like starting to learn, W3 schools, like that's your goat. 
for real if you guys are like interested in programming and stuff like you haven't tried it before a language you should definitely start with is html and css i miss learning that stuff but we're gonna learn it again next year so not again again but like we're gonna do it again next year so i'm really excited about that you should definitely start with that and then from there you can like go to like python or javascript they're both high level programming languages and then from there you can start to look at the low level the C++ and the assembly oh, I don't think anyone learns assembly like in their own time that's another programming language that I'm going to fight with next year like the actual module where we learn it I think it's called computer organization and architecture it's 284 it's like really close to like actual machine language or it's really close to being the language that only computers can understand and we can't you get the vibe if you guys are like repeating modules and stuff or like you get to a point where you're so worried that you're about to fail a module let me tell you from experience that it's not the end of the world you know like when people say it's not the end of the world I you. like it really is not the end of the world i mean up is saying that <laughs> um you're only allowed to add one extra year to your degree so you, you can't really fool around fool around otherwise you have to like sort out like exclusion letters and appeals and that whole long process but yeah let me tell you do not immediately give up on your degree as soon as you feel that it's not going your way or try not to like just try not to don't think now you hate your degree just because you don't understand what's happening just give it some time it took me two years to actually really like programming my relationship with c++ rap it's like i love to use this comparison because it's exactly that it's like in the movies when like the main character has a bully and then somehow they end up liking each other and they end up together. I don't know how. That whole bullies to lovers trope. Yeah, that's me and C++. C++ is the bully. And <laughs> me, I'm, me, I'm the victim here. Yeah, because I've been through too much with this module. And the thing is just one module. Ah, my goodness. But also, if you really feel like, you know, there's no way around the degree that you're doing right now, it's also okay to change. Don't ever feel bad about changing degrees, 100%. But if you still feel like, if you still have some, just a little bit of hope left, like, okay, maybe I might just be able to carry on Just keep going. Take that little bit of hope and keep it going. Because as you continue, the hope grows more and more that you'll most definitely get through your degree and stuff. Because like now, surprisingly, I'm very excited for my second year modules and second year next year. Then also third year multimedia modules. I know they're going to be quite interesting as well. And if you're someone who's like been passing everything and you're going to have like 3 million modules in the next semester, it's just a whole bunch of time management that this degree needs you to have. It's a, I've noticed IT degrees, or at least my degree specifically, and computer science. It's degrees where it needs you to have all of your focus on programming, or at least 90% of your focus on the programming stuff. Anyway, that's the tea there. I've spoken so much. I hope this was informative for you guys. I've had this video idea for like, probably a month now. Now that I'm actually executing the video idea, I'm like, would you guys really like it? I hope you guys like it. Have an amazing evening or morning or afternoon whenever you guys decide to watch this. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you guys' holidays have been going really well or are very restful, that's for sure. That's the tea there, that's the vibes there. Good night, peace out. Thank you.